This bus, this morning, I went to pick up at the base. I had bus 20. That bus was in perfect condition. Uh, they switched me this bus. This bus, when I first started working for this company, I was using this bus. This bus is in terrible shape. The brakes lock up. The alignment is off. It pulls to the right, and you feel the steering wheel pulling to the right. Uh, the, the window barely closes, the uh, passenger door. The stop sign, the stop sign doesn't open and close. It stays at, at its position. It doesn't have a radio. It doesn't have a radio for communication. I got kids on this bus that got seizures and all types of sicknesses. I got four kids that go in wheelchair uh, when they go to Apple and Parsons. And this is the conditions that um, they made me drive this morning. I told them the conditions of this bus, and they said to me that I have to do the run. Um, my job is not important as much as the kids are to me. I have three kids of my own, um, two, three, and five-year-olds. If I knew that my children were running in this kind of condition, oh, believe me, the boss would know uh, here from me. Um, this morning I picked up a little child. His name was, um, I'm not going to say the name, but he has um, some sort of low uh, syndrome uh, disease or something like that. Um, uh, I had, I, I could not bear to the fact that he was going to ride on this bus and I returned him back to the parent. The parent took him out of the bus. Um, I, in the process, I'm in the Board of Education trying to see if I could get a, uh, someone to inspect this bus. Um, these conditions are bad. I told a uh, person in the morning who runs the bus, who, who sends the drivers out on the buses, she told me to take the bus out. Then I went to a manager which is also the uh, union representative. He told me that I must drive the bus. Uh, they've been, at, as I was riding the bus with no radio, they've been contacting me on the road, uh, telling me that um, what time I'm gonna be reaching places and I, that I should pick up certain kids. I told them I didn't wanna pick up the kids in this um, situation that, these, that this bus is in. They continued to push me. Uh, once I told them that I was no longer going to do the run, um, they told me to take the bus back. Um, um, and so far, um, before I took the bus back to the base, I went to the Board of Education. But they never once attempted me to return back to the base uh, until I told them that I wasn't doing the run. So they said, well, if you're not doing the run, then bring it back. Because, but um, after this video is recorded, I um, won't we'll be working for this company no more because the conditions on this bus is extremely terrible. It smells like cat in here. It smells like mildew. Um, it, it was not clean. Every single seat is completely filthy. My hands is, is, is black as you can see. Uh, my pants is black as you can see. Um, and one disease with these children, they're supposed to clean these buses out and um, put ammonia, which they did not, um, which they did not do. Uh, so the conditions on this bus is extremely, extremely hazardous for these children. Some of them have um, very bad allergic reactions, asthma, and all different sorts of diseases. And this is what um, my company at told me that I have to do. Well, I don't have to do it, and I choose not to, and right now I'm at the Board of Ed looking for somebody to inspect this bus. This bus number is bus 66. I'm going to go outside. license plate and this is the broken stop sign which has a mind of its own I told them the conditions of this bus and they still wanted me to um, 